What's going on guys? It's your boy Terabyte Reacts here and I'm back with another reaction of um Chernobyl. Here we're doing episode three today. <clears throat> I'm having a little bit of throat problem, so I might be <clears throat> doing this a lot. <laughs> no, it might get a little annoying, but I'm gonna try to keep it to a minimum. Um keep clearing my throat because I don't know what happened. I don't know what's it. I'm kinda having a bit of an itchy, itchy throat <clears throat> here. So, um, first of all, let me give a um, couple of shout outs I want to give. Not, well, not necessarily a couple. Of, yeah, something like that. So, we're a community over here. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. If you're just here to watch Chernobyl, there's other series that I'm planning to do. Guys, I have a list to go through. The only reason why Chernobyl... <clears throat> um, came up is because it's a short series if you guys have short series that you know of that are really really good short i'm talking about like five to ten episodes um five to ten episodes that i can knock out in like you know a couple of days or something like that i'm all for it to just do it you get what i'm saying and it won't be on the long list that i have of reactions to to get to you know, there are series that are going to be wrapped up like Rome, um, Rome, I think, you know, I think Rome should be done in another month or so. Um, Viking is ongoing, so that ain't going anywhere. The Walking Dead ongoing, not going anywhere. Um, <clears throat> Game of Thrones is done. Um, so because that um, certain things, Chernobyl was one of those that was really recommended you guys said it's only five episodes so i just jumped on it these couple of days before i move into my new place i just let me knock out chernobyl see what it is all about i know what it was about because it's it's chernobyl you know what i'm saying so i heard that it was based on it on the real event so i said okay let me check this out because i've always wanted to know exactly what went down i know it's drum it's, it's dramatized, so they're going to throw in stuff in there that probably didn't really happen. But there are going to be some real, um, usually with, with, with stuff like this that are based on real life, you usually get probably around 80 to 90% of stuff that are absolutely, that absolutely happened. And then they ha add add on some stuff to, 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 um, to turn it, to make it drama. You know what I'm saying? So, um, <clears throat> as I said. Got a couple of shout outs I want to give. Want to shout out to Concord. Um, I think it's Concord forty seven eleven. I think um, for leave for 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 um for the translation that he gave um, of when they were making the announcement. I really wanted to know what they what they were saying. You know, I'm kind of surprised that the subtitles didn't translate it, which is was kind of dumb. In my opinion, or maybe I just have the wrong subtitles on, but. In any in in any case, I really wanted to know. So, so shout out to Concord again. I think Concord. I think you're the same person that you know corrected me about you know certain things and stuff like that. And I'm all for, I'm all for correction, man. If I'm wrong about something, please. If you have more knowledge about it, please let me know because I'm just commenting based on stuff that I know and my knowledge of things. But if there's something out there that if you know better and you know more. Because by no means am I claiming that I know. If, like, if I concretely know about something, then I will officially say that. You know what I'm saying? Because there are subjects that I, con like, I know about. And I know my areas of expertise. Chemical engineering, nuclear engineering, whatever you want to call it. That's not my area of expertise. So if somebody else in here that has more experience with nuclear energy, fission, all of that good stuff, you know what I'm saying? If you can, um, you know, if you're here, you watch my reaction, you hear me say some some foolishness, feel free to correct me in the comment section, okay? Because <laughs> I'm all for correction. Anyways, we're going to jump into these reactions, man. We know what's going on right now. You know, I was wondering why they don't listen to the scientists more. Like for me, in, in in my experience, is that listen, man. As much as I don't agree with scientists, sometimes I don't just I don't just push them aside because you know what I'm saying. Because they they know their stuff. They know their stuff. They have their beliefs too, and they put their beliefs into their work. But there's there's certain things 
that you know that I disagree with them and a lot of things that I agree with them on. So if if they're talking about something I don't know about, you get what I'm saying? I'm going to listen. I'm going to listen. And it kind of it just kind of shot me that they weren't. Li it's like they didn't want. Even though some so many even the even the eyewitnesses are telling you, hey man, the core is gone. It's not there anymore. You know what I'm saying? We know this. Why are you being so stubborn about it? Why aren't you listening? The man is telling you. That's what they're sending. That's, that's the information that they send. They so did not want this to be on their plate. Till they're denying when the disaster the, the, the disaster is here, and they're denying that the, the, that the disaster is here. They're in such a state of denial. It's it's absolutely ridiculous. It's like there's no way that is this could be happening right now. There is no way. But here we are now. So now everybody's shocked. And well, not everybody's shocked, but you know what I'm saying. Like Shabina, I mean Legasov. I, Legasov is trying to tell them, listen. We're going to be dead in five years anyways. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's crazy. So I want to see how how they're going to move forward from this, um, how they're going to move forward. And, you know, now that the people are being evacuated and stuff like that. So how are they going to deal with this? Because it is on the brink of having a nuclear explosion now. I want to know how did they stop this? Um, with the guys going down there now and those, the freaking, um, what they call them? Is it decimeters? I, I think that's what they call them. I don't remember exactly, but decimeters or whatever. That they're going off right now at the end of episode two. So I want to go see what's happening in episode three, man. So let's go get it. Let's go see what this is all about. You guys already know if you're new, I do not post my reactions especially for certain for certain shows i do not like usually hbo is a bit lenient but i think they're sharing this i think they they shared responsibility with someone if it's an exclusive show for hbo then i can then i would have been able to upload you know two three parts on on um on youtube but i can't Okay, I've tried and it keeps getting blocked and I, I, I went and researched and realized HBO doesn't have sole ownership over this show. Yes, it was aired on HBO, but it was they don't have sole ownership of it. Okay, so when it's their show like Game of Thrones, Rome, like that was filmed, though both of those were filmed for HBO. So I was able to upload those to, to, to YouTube, no problem, 10 minutes per part, you're good with that. Um... And as long as I don't make any money off of it, they get all the money. If there, if there's any ads that's posted on those videos, they get all the money, which I don't care. <laughs> as long as um, I'm enjoying myself, my audience is enjoying me reacting to stuff. I'm good. Okay, so, um, so for this, I'm not gonna be on YouTube. It's going to be on two sources. I'm gonna upload the full reaction to my Google Drive and also. I'm going to put, I'm going to edit it, put some highlights up on another website, just in case you guys don't want to sit down for an hour with me, you can watch about 40 minutes of it, which I think is a, it's regular time for a regular TV show, right? So on BitChute. So let's go watch this reaction, man. And I will see you guys back here for the review. Link is down in the description. Go watch the reaction and then come back, watch my review. All right. Thank you. Okay, that episode was a tough one. It was a tough one to watch because of, you know, what was happening to, you know, Diatla, Vasily. Um, it was tough to see that because I'm I'm squeamish over stuff like that um, just because, not because I've experienced it in real life, but I just don't like to see people sick no matter what form it is in. You know what I'm saying? I just don't like to see it because, you know, whether it be mental illness, illness in the past, I, you know, I myself was, 
you know, involved with somebody who was who had bipolar and it was it was so stressful for me. You know what I'm saying? Like it was a very stressful time in my life because because it was like you see someone that you 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 know, you have someone that you love, you want to help them but you can't help them because you don't know how. You just have to try to help them as 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 much as you can but in the same speed you're looking at yourself and be like you know all your time and your effort and all of this other stuff you know it's is is being spent doing this and it's tough you know what i'm saying because you love the person you don't you don't want to come off selfish and there's so many different things i'm just talking about the things that you know stressed me out stress me out about the situation and and is um you don't want the person to not feel loved and, and and you know what I'm saying so there's a lot of pressure that it puts on you, you as an individual dealing with that but at the same time because you care so much about this person you know what I'm saying I mean I literally I I think I've I think I've cried so much during that pri that period in my life to the point I I didn't feel like I was myself anymore like I felt like I was like another person was living inside my body. It was it, it was just and because I've experienced that. Because I've experienced that, you know what I'm saying? It's just like I just see myself as like I don't like to see anybody sick. I'm not talking about like if, you know, somebody has the flu or some common cold or something like that that they that they could get over in a few days. I'm talking about like some if if it's terminal, if it's something that can affect them over a long period of time. I usually can't I can't I can't take it. It's it's just it's too much. It's too much. You know what I'm saying? And I empathize, I sympathize, I whatever. So much. Um, to the point that I want to give myself, um, give give myself a, into that situation. You know what I'm saying? I'm always, I'm going above and beyond to make that person feel comfortable during that time. You know what I'm saying? It's just sometimes I even try to to even avoid it. You know what I'm saying? To even avoid it, like if somebody that I really care about, like if they, you know, they they diagnosed with terminal cancer or whatever the situation is like sometimes i even try to avoid the person because i know in their presence i'm just gonna be bawling my eyes out so i just avoid the situation over again and it kind of seems like i don't care but it's just i know what's gonna happen to me i know i'm gonna break down because i don't want to see the person and sometimes it's some really strong people that this happened to some really strong people people that you look up to mentors that this happened to you know what i'm saying and when you get around them you you know what I'm saying? So seeing this, this stuff in this episode, I just don't want to look at it because now I kind of feel like I'm with, I'm in that space. And knowing that this happened in real life, as I said, the, the, um, the aesthetics are, are great. They're doing a great job with makeup on those bodies, you know, simulating radiation poisoning. And it's good, but you know, it was a hundred times worse looking in real life. You know what I'm saying? I don't want nobody spamming me with, with, with pictures of radiation poisoning in real life. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. So this episode basically took a turn. Um, It's getting worse. You know, now they need to install this thing under the freaking reactor, under the, the, um, the concrete slab or whatever they, they call it. Um, and they got these miners, you know. These miners, they don't play around. They're going to get the job done, but the only thing that I'm disappointed about, I mean, I guess it's the same everywhere. It's like veterans just get treated like shit. And I'm not, they're not soldiers, but you know what I'm saying? I'm putting them in that, in that area because at this point, they are soldiers. At this point, they're soldiers. They're doing something to basically save their country. You know what I'm saying? That's what they're doing. I'm not answering the phone right now. Stop calling me. Right? It's not my mother. So, don't care. Anyways, so, it's just crazy how they, they, they're soldiers. Right? So, I'm putting them in that vein right now. To think that they won't even get taken care of. Their families, nothing is promised. Which is absolutely ridiculous. You call these men 
to step up for their country. And then their country won't do shit for them. And I see it over and over again. I, I live in the United States, man. And I'm telling you guys, they're over there. It's no different here. It's not all rainbows and sunshine in this country, okay? A lot of things I, that, that goes on here, I do not agree with. I don't agree with, right? There's a lot of things that I don't agree with. I'm never going to take up arms against the country or anything like this. I, I still think it's one of the greatest countries in the world. But there's so many things wrong with this country. It's not, as I said, it's not all rainbows and sunshine. You know what I'm saying? It's all, you know what I'm saying? Some A lot of the stuff is just a freaking, um, it's so much about vanity here. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's like, it's just crazy to think that the comparison that I'm that I'm seeing right there with them just not under not understanding that I, I would have imagined that, you know, other places would be a little bit different when it comes on to that. I'd be like, oh, don't worry about it. I mean, they could have lied to the dude. But hey, he said, you know, always tell the truth because they'll they'll probably know that you're not being honest. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's the least they could have done is say, you know what? Your families will be taken care of, blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about it and all this other stuff. And I'm not saying that there's not programs for veterans in this country. They are. But they're not as accessible as some people might think. You know what I'm saying? I I think I think veterans should, should get free health care. I think they should get everything for free everything that they want to take care of themselves i think that th they fight for this country they should get they should get everything for free they when they come back they should just hand them the keys to 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 a brand new car hand them the keys to a brand new house hand them the, just hand just give them anything that they want man because these guys put their lives in danger to 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 provide the safety you know what i'm saying for us People who are here who can sit down and do reactions. You get what I'm saying? So when they come back, man, if they finish, if they done, you guys should be handing them everything that they need to continue and do. You know what I'm saying? Every veteran that comes back should, should just be handed a million dollars. Just hand it to them. You know what I'm saying? It's just how I feel about the situation, man. I know that's probably people are going to say that's, that would be impossible. You know what I'm saying? But do something for these people. Don't let them come back and feel like their country doesn't their, their country doesn't care about them. Because when they feel like that, that's when they, you know what I'm saying, might feel like they need to go, you know what I'm saying, go do bad things for money. Because they have a particular set of skills. You get what I'm saying? It's is it Guys, this episode was 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 really it it really touched home for me. It really touched home as you can see. It really did, man. Um They're still doing things that they you know that, that should just be out in the open. This is a natural disaster, basically. It is. I mean not really, but it kinda is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It didn't happen it by nature. You know what I'm saying? By nature. But it's basically affecting so many people. You might as well call it that. I still don't know if this was an accident. Because it seems like they're kind of spinning it to make it seem like it wasn't an accident. It was kind of like a conspiracy of maybe it was a, you know, an attack. Or somebody wanted this to happen. Or somebody sabotaged the reactor. Or something like that. Like, you get what I'm saying? So it kind of seems like it's going in that direction. So in the end, probably up to this day, they don't know what the hell happened. But I want to see if if that was a result. Because I'm learning a lot about this incident just from watching this show. So, you know, a lot of the stuff I know is put in there for, for, for you know, for the drama stuff um, to get you to watch the show. But the events surrounding about it, you know what I'm saying? I know it, I, I, I can see what it, what the events the events that actually took place versus something that they just threw in there for for dramatic purposes so you know 
so maybe i know there's probably videos out there on youtube already saying what did chernobyl get wrong i don't <laughs> what chernobyl got wrong i know they probably have shows about that already so i'm looking for maybe i'll do some reaction to some stuff like that maybe an actual documentary of something some people have sent me videos already thanks for that um so i'm looking forward to doing those and thank you guys for listening as always man this episode was really 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 good it was hard to look at but at the same time it was a really good episode as i said man the setting is very good the set that they're doing this on i know they're not actually doing this in chernobyl right but the set that they're doing it on is very it's a very cool set it, it looks like 80s russia you know what i'm saying like it it just brings you in and makes you feel like this is what was going on they're really doing a good job at that and the actors are doing a very good job too somebody said that i think like 90 percent of the actors are english um there's not a lot of russian actors and probably there's not a lot of russian actors that speak english well so there's that factor too so if they could have made it more authentic by doing russian actors um they might have bring people but they probably would have been they do this all the time in movies, man, to, to reenact stuff. So you can't, I can't look at that and say it's bad that they didn't go super authentic. But these actors, English actors, they're doing a really good job of portraying Russians. Because, I mean, come on. Jared Harris? The dude looks like a Russian, bruh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. He just looks Russian. You know what I'm saying? If he started speaking that accent, you would think he's Russian. You know what I'm saying? But he's English. Uh, we know that. Because I was asking if he was Russian. You see, he confused me because I thought he was Russian. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, I don't know. Is, um, what's his name? I can never remember his damn name. The dude that beat Rocky. And that was in the last, um, that was in Creed 2. I uh, can never remember that dude's name. And he, he's one of my favorite actors, too been followed out i probably watch every movie he's been in <laughs> you know what i'm saying so um so yeah man this was dope definitely definitely dope um series so far these three episodes hope you guys enjoyed the reaction man this one this one was good thank you guys for tuning in as always it's your boy terry by reacts and i will see you guys on the next one peace